guys welcome back to my channel and today is going to be a really quick video it's going to be the finale of my 12 pans of Christmas which was a giant collab through a lot of panners here on um, YouTube so definitely check out the links down below to be connected with those panners everyone else was very consistent with it except for me I got really busy during the holiday season um, some of you may or may not know in December, it's crazy for me and my job. Um, it's crazy for about three weeks, and after the three weeks are done, I'm just brain dead, and then it's time for the holidays. So really, that's not a good excuse, because everyone else basically on this has a full-time job or they have kids. Um, I just dropped the ball. Anyways, in no particular order, um, I'm not going to mention the movies these items were attached to because I don't remember. If you want to watch the intro video, click the link right up here. It'll take you to it. But let's just get started. So the first... So the first item is going to be Soft and Gentle from MAC. My goal was to finish at least half of it. I started with a quarter of it showing, so I did improve a little bit on this half. I'm going to be continuing to use this item until it is gone in 2018. The other item is another face blush item and it is Dallas from Benefit and my goal was to hit pan on this product and I did. Though I did not hit pan in December, I did hit pan this morning and today is January 2nd. So it didn't fit the goal but I'd still have hit pan on this and I consider this a huge accomplishment because the Benefit powder blushes have a ton of product in them. One other item is a moisturizer from Clinique and I finished it. It is a deluxe sample. This was the Moisture Surge. It's more of a gel cream moisturizer than just a cream one. My skin reacts better to gel than it does to actual cream. I really like this and I have seen a huge difference in my skin since consistently using moisturizer. I do remember what this item was for. This was for the movie Home Alone. This is a face mask from Bosha and I'm going to be real honest, I touched this once since I started that project. It's still there. It's still a really good face mask. It's one of my favorites, but I only touched it once. But this year, one of my goals is to be consistent with using my products and using a face mask at least two to three times a week. So this one should be gone relatively soon, hopefully. And then I know I did show two of these items in my intro video, but I finished both of them, so I figured I could just show you one. But this is the Beauty Protector Protect and Detangler Leave-In Conditioner. So it's a spray for your hair. I used it morning, day, night, whenever I wanted to. Wet hair, dry hair, I used it. It really has a great fragrance to it, and it really helps to tangle your hair, and I highly recommend it to everybody. And I know you can purchase this on birchbox.com. I don't know where else. If you know where else to get this, please let me know because I would love to purchase it. I'm trying to save up some points to where I can basically get it for free on birchbox.com. I finished both facial sprays. I finished both of these within the time frame. This is Makeup Revolution Oil Control Fixing Spray. Did it control my oil? I'm not entirely sure if it did. I did use it in the winter time, so I'm not as oily as I normally am, but I didn't notice any difference from wearing this to wearing this Tarte Spray, which is Rainforest of the Sea. This is a marine boosting mist, so it's hydrating. So oil control and hydrating, I didn't notice the difference. Not sure if this is super hydrating or if this is super oil control. I don't know, my skin just stayed consistent, but I finished both of them. This was a full size, it was about halfway, and then this was a deluxe size that was all the way. A foundation, hold on. A foundation that's a deluxe size sample that I did start with this project was Makeup 
Forever Ultra HD foundation. It's the Invisible Cover Foundation. I really did like the coverage of this deluxe sample. I did finish it. I want to like figure out a way to open this, but I don't know if I can to scrape out the rest. But it's considered done. I liked it a lot. Enough for me to spend the money and splurge and purchase on it. I don't know. Um, I may have to go get a different shade. The shade they gave me in my Sephora Playbox is Y245. Um, I may need a shade darker than this one. A primer that I absolutely end up loving, and I'm probably going to go repurchase it into full size, is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Blurring Complexion Primer. This actually really did help with perfecting my face. It did blur my imperfections. I really did like it. It was a great full size sample. It lasted me almost a month and that was a month of consistently wearing makeup every single day. I really did like it and I highly recommend this to you. Benefit Roller Lash is a mascara that is all dried up. I normally go through deluxe mascaras about every month and a half. Um, so they last, it lasts me the entire time. I really like Benefit Roller Lash. It gives you curl, it gives you length, it gives you separation. It gives you more of a natural eyelash rather than a falsy eyelash. So it's not really volumizing, it's just really lengthening and separate, separating. All right, I did not get enough use out of my MAC Tribalist lipstick than I said I should have. It smells so old. I just, I know I need to toss it. I just, I know I do. I don't know if I can. Like the scent, it just smells like lipstick. And MAC usually has a scent. Am I correct? Am I, am I thinking that this is how MAC lipstick smells? I don't know. They normally have like a vanilla scent, right? Yes, this just, just has like a lipstick scent. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to give it a few more times. And if I get reactions on my lips, like they end up being really dry, then I'm going to cut off the top and then just back to Mac it. And the final item was the Nivea Post Balm Shave Balm. <laughs> uh, it's the Nivea Sensitive Post Balm Shave Balm. Nope, say it wrong again. And the next item is the Nivea Men Post Balm, Post Shave Balm. All right, and then the final item is the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm in Sensitive. I cannot tell how much I have left of this item. I feel like when I shake it, you can hear stuff. I just don't know how full it is. I'm holding it against up to my studio lights, but this is like so thick. I want to say we're like right here, but this is glass, so it's heavy. So it feels like there's more, but I feel like we're almost done. I could have finished it. I just, I just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no excuses. I just didn't finish it. Um, I'm not mad about it though. I really like this as a primer in the winter time. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for my finale. And just FYI, the books in the background are not going to be a permanent thing. This is for my separate channel that I have on booktube. It's YouTube, but like the book side of it. Anyway, so this is the background for that. I've just been filming videos back to back to back. So this background will not stay. I'm going to have my background that way eventually when we have that area set up. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you love Project Pan videos, stay tuned because I'm going to be filming my next Project Pan next. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to call it. It's um my half yearly Project Pan. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more Project Pan videos from me, hit the subscribe button down below. And as always, guys, have a beauty-filled day. Bye, guys.